you're probably wondering what we're in, why we're in space. To explain that, we'll need to use the art of teleportation. <clears throat> Through the art of magically teleporting, I'll now show you the base. As you can see, it is damaged. Now, this is the part where you might want to get a bit of a heads up because I'm about to explain everything that's about. Just everything that's just happened off camera in very short time. You may need to rewind this. <clears throat> so, after deciding whether or not I should actually build a rocket, spend an episode building a rocket and then going into space, I decided to do it off of camera. Then I was going, then I noticed a big problem. It was in the way of the solar panels which made it which means that after I got it all ready for takeoff. So I was just going to take it in park and somewhere else so that way when I started recording going into space I could then park it I could then park it wherever the heck I want I could then just take off straight away. When doing so I accidentally hit the base and sent it flying. Since it was out of control I did my best to avoid crashing into the ground however I really came to the sudden realization if I wanted to avoid crashing into the ground and starting all over again after 10 hours of work uh, probably over 10 hours of work that I've been spending on it I would have to get it into space. Once I was able to do that and I was able to regain control by using relative velocity to correct it. Then after flying around I found the meteor. I then transferred a basic platform, which is what you saw. However, unfortunately, I didn't realize I was slightly in the gravity world, which means the hydrogen thrusters ran out at about the instance I had just set up a basic platform, was when the hydrogen decided to run out, finally. After this, it went plummeting and I smacked into it, and then I had to, get a, then I had to use a respawn ship because uh, apparently the lag caused the uranium not to transfer into the little platform. And then I had to basically, then once I got there with the respawn ship, it was about a five minute journey. It's about five minutes before a res server restart and all the stuff from the respawn ship was useless. So I salvaged as much as I could, including the ionic thrusters, the uranium react reactor, uranium, and actually made sure it went in this time, because I was pretty sure it went in last time. Also then, hmm. then of course, then of course I spent flying around looking for the materials to, so I could refine them into the useful solar panels and when I logged off shut off everything off except for medical bay and had a solar backup just in case the uranium ran out. Now, the art of teleportation. Now that you're all caught up, time to begin what we're doing. We are building a so on my long way here, I realized the uranium might run out if I spend too long not being able to fill it up. So I had the realization to make a backup room, backup spawn room. Also, this base will be called the Watchtower because it reminds me of a sort of Young Justice Watchtower from Young Justice, where it's sort of a building on top of a meteor or drifting in like this. So. In truth, this is going to be the backup spawn area of its own independent grid, and I'll move the solar panels over as well. So once we've got a framework, I will once we get the framework down, I will then I will then cut to me making a mining ship, and we'll then start mining resources for valuable reasons. So, let's get a basic frame of this thing down. That should be good spacing. That will definitely for the medical bay. I'm not sure if I want to air, actually make any air in this room. I think it's just a medical bay backup. Emergency backup that's run on solar panels and batteries. I don't know the materials for the batteries at the moment, so... Mm -hmm. 
Let's do this quickly. Oh yeah, I've been watching a lot of other people use the vanilla box, so I'm actually getting the hang of how they use them in different areas and what they look like in specific frequencies and how to use them well. Should be pretty easy to do. Uh, just give me a minute. I didn't place that particularly well. There we go. because the door is going on the other side. Like so. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage. And... basic frame up and then next episode we'll have it all welded up for you. I'll hold it off this thing up off camera and just do the batteries obviously. And let's see, is this one I guess? I think. Yeah, that works better. So. <clears throat> oh man, let's do it. Uh... And boom. There we have a medical room. Now let's get started on our mining ship. Okay, since I got the thrust to come on. Let's do this landing. Let's go. I'm gonna get this binding ship so we can get everything up and running. The next episode, I'll probably have followed this up, started on a little bit of the base area. 135 kilometers, that can't be correct. Why is it even showing up? Mm. Okay, GPS, I don't believe that's right. Still in the gravity field as well, so I've got to design this ship to be able to move more up. 
upgrade server. Let me go to the other ship. Uh, crap, what was that design again? Uh, and three drills at the front, All right? Drill. I'll just replace it with the admin. Likes. What a couple. I don't have any material plates. Uh, oh, I have some here. And then conveyors. Large ones. Oh, we could have connectors. Hold on. Oh. Let me check this thing. I got with the app. I got the app. Like that. And that like that. That like that. Then we chuck the connector on the bottom. This like so. And we find our last reactor. Reactor. Here it is. And then we just do that. Now we go with the ionic thrust. It takes two of the large ones here, like so. <coughs> it took six. Thrusts. We do two seventy five seventy right to each time we put the thrust like this. <coughs> yeah, one of those right in the middle. Had four moving thrusts on each side. Like so. We then add and. Boom! Now let's get this welded up. And we're back. I welded up the miner and also added this little additional thing here. Oh wait. Oh wait, I forgot about the gyroscopes. Oh, I better recharge my suit. Also, once I find some cobalt, I'll be good to go. to make some elite tools.
don't really care about the unknown signal on this. It's got like a ton of good stuff on it, which it probably doesn't. Okay, let's do this. Weld up all the gyros and. There we go. Let's transfer in the other. Now let's add some fuel to this reactor. Well, let's go mine. Okay, I don't really need an old detector on this thing for the time being. I can deal with that. I don't have the components at the time being to. So let's see. Iron. There's a way in. You know what? Actually, look. There's a way in somewhere. I don't know. It's the middle of this asteroid, which holds all of the iron. God damn it's dark. Okay, maybe I should put a spotlight on you. Yes, let's mine all this iron. Finally, a mining ship that doesn't explode after 10 seconds of me using it. See how much I can fill this baby up. Fifty. It's like eighty k. That should do. Uh, I think eighty k is enough for now.
And since it says two large thrusters facing down, I don't think I have to even worry about the damn drift atmosphere crap. Yeah, we're gonna pull it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, if you please. Oh, Jesus, that's annoying. Okay, I might have to pilot this baby in third person from now on. Is there not enough? Oh. So what's with the damn third person being so damn far away? This drifting bullshit. This ship should be relatively easy to hook up since the crap. Oh god. Boom! That should be feeding my iron into the damn refinery hub. Control panel, large reactor will just turn you off so you don't run anything off. Okay, this has been another episode of. <clears throat> Space Engineer Survival, until next time. All the way!